Off the beaten track in East Arnhem Land, among raw natural beauty, lies the oldest civilization on earth. Home to the Yolongu people, one of the largest indigenous groups in Australia, it's where tradition is kept alive. The land is their backbone, and at the heart is song and dance. <laughs> Crowds cheered as Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull spoke in traditional language. Nara Buka Buku Gurupan Numulan Bukmak Wangaga Nala Palmiri Mala. His wife, overcome with emotion during a touching tribute to the late Dr. G. Unipingu, an internationally acclaimed Aboriginal singer. It was a powerful start to what hopes to be a festival that will unite. Now the relationship between our nation and our First Peoples is a deeply complex one. But it's not static, it's not frozen in time. It's forever growing and changing. While dance is a means of passing down culture from one generation to the next, this year it's not the only thing taking centre stage. Discussions over constitutional recognition will dominate the next four days and the theme is makarata, meaning coming together after a struggle. It follows the recommendations by the Referendum Council to establish an Indigenous parliamentary voice. A fire that we hope burns brighter for Australia. Despite standing in solidarity, politicians will be under pressure to provide answers and Indigenous leaders will be pushing for a commitment. We live side by side, but not yet united. Opposition leader Bill Shorten has already cemented his support for the proposal. It's what we do after the music has stopped. The stage is put away, the people move on. But Mr Turnbull is yet to make a decision. Although isolated in location, the coming together of leaders in this spiritual land could be the final push needed before history is made. Daniel Robertson, Sky News at the Gama Festival.